Hi, and welcome to Inside CalSTRS Investments, a series of short conversations that explain how members' contributions are invested for the benefit of California educators. I'm here today with Ann Sheehan, Director of Corporate Governance for CalSTRS. Hi, Ann. Hi, Mike. So exactly what do we mean when we talk about corporate governance? Well, corporate governance really talks about how corporations are governed. But from our perspective, corporate governance really means active, responsible ownership and engagement with the companies that are in our portfolio. We have 7,000 publicly traded companies in our portfolio in CalSTRS. Of the 172 billion that we have, over 100 billion of that is in the public markets. So we really own the markets, and we are long-term owners. We're going to be in those companies for a long time because we do need to pay the retirement needs of our beneficiaries and the teachers in California. So my shop and the corporate governance unit is responsible for overseeing how those companies govern themselves, engage with the companies where we think they have some problems, and really stay on top of their governance so that they can perform well for us in the long term. Governance is really about the long term return of our dollars as we invest in those companies. Custers is often called an activist investor. What does that mean? Well, that means we're active owners in these companies. We pay attention to how they're running the companies. We pay attention to their operations, to their capital allocation, to their compensation, to their leadership and succession planning, all of these issues that relate to the governance. So we are active owners. We stay in touch with the companies, and when we have concerns about how they're running something, we'll send them a letter or we'll call them up on the phone. Or the converse is, when we think they're doing something well, we'll send them a letter and compliment them on that. Well, we think uh, that there are several areas that are sort of a focus for CalSTRS. For example, proxy access. Can you explain what that means? Sure. Proxy access means the ability of a large long-term shareholder to have the right to nominate a director candidate to sit in the boardroom and be on the company proxy. Right now, the company is the only one who really who nominates candidates to sit in the boardroom, and we vote hopefully every year on those candidates. But there are times when we feel that a board needs some new blood in the boardroom. They need some new thinking. We have been concerned about sometimes groupthink or some of the board members who are not really paid attention to the issues, and so we think there needs to be a change in the boardroom. And so we have sought the right to to get what's called proxy access, the ability to access the company proxy, to put a name on the proxy that then we would put before the shareholders and they could vote yes or no on that candidate. Unfortunately, while the SEC did approve a rule, the D.C. Circuit Court of Appeals in Washington, D.C. struck down the rule on a technicality. So we're kind of back to the drawing board in that regard. But that's an example of us fighting for shareholder rights. We're a large shareholder. We'd like to have some rights to be able to make some change in the companies. And that's an example of one of the rights that we were seeking. I guess another area that has uh, been in the news lately is corporate compensation for executives. Yes. Um, executive compensation is always a hot ticket issue in, for us in corporate governance. And with Dodd-Frank passage three years ago, investors now have the ability to cast an advisory vote on executive compensation. We call it say on pay. And so companies every year, or most companies every year, put up their executive compensation for an advisory vote. It's sort of testing with their shareholders, do you like the way we've structured compensation? And for the most part, most companies' compensation passes every year. But there are a number of companies, some high-profile ones this year, Freeport McMoran, McKesson, Oracle just recently lost their what is called say on pay vote. And it's the ability of shareholders to have a say on the pay structure of the company. And so it's very important for us as shareholders to send a signal to the company that we think your pay is not really aligned with the performance of the company. Either the stock price is not doing well and the pay is going up, or if the pay is not structured to really align with shareholders. If the shareholders do well, we think the executives should do well. But if the shareholders do well, aren't doing well, we don't think the executives should be paid excessive for that. We think there needs to be an alignment. And so the say on pay really gives us the ability to send that signal to the company that we have concerns about their compensation structure. 
I see another area that we've been focusing on is diversity in the boardroom. Yes, um, California obviously is a very diverse state. You know, our schools are diverse, our population, the demographics in this state, and we think that diversity is also important in a corporate boardroom. And so for the past three years, we have focused on diversity as a key issue in our corporate governance program. We've written to companies asking them to put more females or diverse candidates in the boardroom. We have partnered with our colleagues across the river at CalPERS to start a diverse director data source, the 3D, to develop director candidates who we can provide to companies who are looking for more diversity in their boardroom. And we've written to a number of companies. One example is the letter we sent to Facebook when they first filed their IPO, their initial public offering, to go public as a company. They had no women on their board, and yet we know Facebook is a service that over 50% of the customers of Facebook are females, so we felt it made good business sense and economic sense to have females in the boardroom representing that customer base sitting at the Facebook board. Well, thanks, Anne, for your time today. You've been listening to Inside Calster's Investments. I'm Mike Cecilia. Thanks for joining us. <laughs>